they have an aversion to upper body strength. Both girl and guy like they're gifted. They win this futsal tournament. They do that. They do on the side. They have the skills trainer. They have a thousand juggles before they're 10 years old now. They're doing things that I, I could do when I was playing collegiately when they were 12. Like throwing the ball up on their neck, doing all these crazy things like like Nike skills video, you know, old Ronaldo, Ronaldinho and and Thierry Henry in the cage type stuff. And they're 10 and it makes my eyes fall out, but they can't do one chin up. And then particularly the, the young men, <laughs> they'll look at me like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm great. Right. And and I'll be like, listen, guys, I promise you that at some point your lack of upper body motor ability because you can't really do dips or chin ups is going to limit your technical capacity because again despite you primarily using your lower extremities it's a total body effort and i have used the 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 visual of messi on one of his crazy runs where he's just like a jedi knight weaving through the entire opposition I promise you, and I'd, I'd make I'd make this assertion to the guys that he's using every ounce of his being. He is so good; he might even have control over his hair. And I, I almost I'm saying that tongue in cheek, but legitimate might be the case. So he his his control over his entire being everywhere is is dialed in. And if you are you can't catch a ball, throw a ball, can't do a chin up, your upper body is going to limit your skill acquisition on the lower body because it's a total body thing. Oh my gosh, that is incredible because I think so many soccer players they always push back on the chin-ups and the upper <laughs> yes. body work and oh, we're going to get really scientific here, but so let's go into how that lack of upper strength and that stability of the trunk area impacts mm. how the foot is striking the ground and that vertical force production. Yeah, it's total body control it is is necessary to have first and foremost a balanced athlete. And again, when we start talking about either per performance or efficient or efficiency on 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 the opposite end if if you lack that 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 pelvic stability that ability to con to control the trunk and that's really what it's for our 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 core which isn't more than just your abdominals it's your lower backs your glutes your hamstrings your ql your quadratus lumborum and your internal obliques your deep and your, your superficial, it's everything. And, and your hip flexors as well, it's so ass. So if you lack the ability to have that, that sort of control over, over, over those muscles, then you are, are, are not gonna be able to, to either deliver or, or absorb force pro properly. And, and contrary to popular belief, it's not meant to just, those muscles are not meant to just lay on the floor and do crunch, <laughs> crunches. They are there to resist rotation as we as human beings move. So that is the goal. And that's why there's value too. And I explain this to the kids, even for my older athletes and the pro team, I still have the pro team doing their dynamic warmups, doing crawls and all of these different patterns where they are exposing themselves to situations they would obviously never truly see on, on the field, but just to honestly get a lot of anti-rotational, anti-extension type work, and then also familiarize themselves with the ground in case they do fall, tumble, because it happens, and you get in these awkward positions. That's that's one of the, I think, the, new, the, the things that I've come to appreciate more over my 15 years at this point is uh, kind of leaving even traditional strength conditioning more uh, prioritizing velocity based things but then kind of honestly almost em em embracing more non-traditional strengths at this point as more valuable than like your typical well squat deadlift sort of routine um just for a, the ability to have a a, a suppleness to them 
as well. I, I've always loved and I, I've taken from Bruce Lee and his his turn of phrase that he liked to use was be like water. So water can conform and adopt to any scenario that it's in, but it also at critical times can be extraordinarily powerful. So I, I think that's just beautiful. So the ability to flow and 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 wiggle and slither, whatever uh, adjective that you would like, has become more valuable than maybe ten years ago. It was like explosive. Like what they look, I probably visualize my ideal soccer player probably more like a, a safety or a cornerback or a wide receiver versus something more kind of becoming more like uh like a like almost dancer-esque now in terms of like my visual and in my brain so that it's, it's probably unique to see how that's changed over the last decade with me but that's uh sort of what i value that that that, that ability to stabilize through dy- dynamic movement is much more valuable than being able to do a plank f- forever do x amount of crunches how, how can you actually manage manage yourself moving in different scenarios and and do that efficiently and emerge unscathed 